In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some of the newest Blender add-ons and recent updates. These add-ons will help you with modeling, animation, creating visual effects, in addition to some tools that will increase and speed up your workflow. So without further ado, let's get started. But before we do that, I just want to let you guys know that the Blender market is having right now its biggest sale of the year from Black Friday to Cyber Monday. So if you want to get some add-ons, materials or 3D assets, this is your chance to do so at a 25% discount. Also I have in the description of this video a list of the most popular and powerful Blender add-ons to help you get started and get the best deals. First, let's take a look at TrueSky add-on latest update. If you don't know what TrueSky is, well, it is simply an add-on that you can use to make realistic skies for your scene in a short period of time while giving you full control. Now, TrueVFX are the guys who created it and they just released a new version of the add-on, but the good thing is they came up with some interesting new features, so let's highlight some of them here. First, they have increased your ability to have control over the add-on where now you can just click and place the sun whatever you want without actually changing the values in order to change its position. In addition, you can also change the position of the sun without going to the render mode where you can just use a sun lamp and you can rotate it and move around in the solid preview mode. Furthermore, they boosted the processing speed which is now 50% faster and this is very interesting. Also, the folks at Physical Add-ons who created Physical Starlight and Atmosphere Add-on have come up recently with quite an interesting new add-on and they named it Physical Celestial Objects and basically it is a tool to build physically accurate planets at a realistic scale. It enables you to add and build planets and celestial bodies in real time without losing any quality or accuracy. Moreover, it allows you to scale up your planets using real-world measurements in addition to adding cinematic atmospheres and procedural rings that can be later tweaked to create visually appealing worlds. The add-on is very easy to use where you can directly add celestial bodies and customize the appearance of your planet just by applying an image texture and you can then set the radius and rotation as well as the positions. You can also enable rings and atmospheres to make them much more realistic. Also, we have this recent update of Scatter 5, which has now changed its name to GeoScatter. The developers behind it have introduced a lot of new features and improvements, as well as changing some settings. So let us see what's new in this release. The add-on now enables multi-surface scattering, a feature that was previously unavailable in the add-on. Also, new transition fall-off settings have also been added across the toolset. Moreover, there is a better camera optimization available now where the camera frustum adapts automatically by default. Additionally, a method for eye collusion calling is now available. Also, instances can now be distributed using a density slider as well as a total instance count slider. Furthermore, the add-on contains new rotation features where they provided new normal and tangent alignment methods as well as a new boolean density mask where you may mask inner and outside volumes of objects in a particular collection. In addition, they have added a new display as point cloud option which will be very useful to users. These are just some of the new features, so if you want to see the full upgrades, you should check the full add-on documentations using the links below. Now, after a long wait, Polygonic, the creators of Materialic, have recently shared a new version of the add-on. As they are saying, this is the largest and most challenging release so far for them. It features a lot of new features and they have totally redesigned Materialic's behavior and appearance within Blender's interface. The interesting thing is that this release includes a significant number of new materials in addition to older materials that have been seamlessly converted to the new node group system, which is truly remarkable. Also, they promise to start steadily enhancing Materialic in the future and from this point onward, it will have an upgrade cycle, which is great. Ultimately, this version is still in beta but I'm confident that it will have many exciting new features in the official release. Now, talking about productivity, the next one is a straightforward and useful tool that allows you to preserve all the transforms of your viewport and then restore them at any moment, and it is called Saved Views. It actually helps you store thumbnails for each view to make switching between them much more easier and simpler. 
Moreover, instead of wasting time going to the outliner each time, I mean when you need to select a hidden object, this add-on allows you to find and select objects and you can do this by name directly from the viewport. Above that, it is very simple and easy to use, making it a really helpful tool. Especially if you are like me, when I want to be productive and I want to focus on what matters most. Another impressive add-on we have today is Urbaniac Building Generator. As its name suggests, it is basically used to generate detailed city buildings that you can add to your scene within a short period of time. Given that it uses geometry nodes, which has a tremendous power, there are countless possibilities when building shapes and modifications, especially if you are working on projects that include making cities. You can use the add-on by manipulating simple modular shapes in the edit mode and you will have a building with plenty of amazing details that will be automatically constructed in real time. Moreover, to create more variations, each building contains procedural materials that allow you to adjust the color, grunge, leaking, rust, etc. Along with several building bases, the add-on also offers a variety of components that gives the models of the buildings much more depth. Additionally, to create the best looking results, the add-on has some values to tweak and play around with such as building lights, rain and snow, as well as water surfaces. To achieve the best looking results, the building has 3D pre-packed interiors which will enhance the look of your scene within a short period of time which is amazing. Moving on, if you need to create simple organic shapes, then this nice add-on made by Alt-Tab, who is known for producing excellent add-ons, will help you do that. This add-on allows you to make procedural and organic shapes. You may use it to create simple, complex or weird shapes, depending on your creativity and the need of your project. This add-on will be useful for those who generate random shapes to use in stunning visuals, sci-fi scenes, music videos or even to generate jewelry and accessories. Furthermore, it is quite simple to use and you can make an endless number of shapes which also gives you an infinite number of ideas and inspiration. You can also bring your creation to life by animating every single parameter it has, which is very useful. Another new update we're gonna talk about is Vegetation 5.1, which is an amazing add-on for creating natural vegetation. It recently got a new upgrade which came with some new cool features such as 71 new biomes ready for geoscatter ranging from tropical and coniferous biomes to deciduous and desert biomes. Additionally, it also includes 264 assets with 903 different vegetations giving you limitless randomization options. The models are highly realistic and have high quality PBR textures which is exactly what I need. Furthermore, you can find animated trunks and leaves for all different seasons. Also the asset browser is another new tool that will be very useful for many artists. Now, when creating a project, lighting is crucial since it may completely shift the way your scene looks. Therefore, we must always pay attention to it and take it our time when dealing with it. But why waste time when you can greatly benefit from the GoBoss Lighting Library add-on when lighting up your scene, which is an add-on that already has 300 plus beautifully created GoBoss. We have also created a video about a similar add-on called GoBoss Light Textures which is more powerful and popular with more than 2100 sales. If you don't know what it is, it is a library of animated and static light textures that can generate ultra-realistic shadows in your scenes. With it, you can easily create volume, depth and realism by simulating the real world, while saving you a huge deal of time. It offers 90 plus assets that includes textures with animated leaves, which can create a realistic look in your scenes. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.